Greetings, I'm Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Zombie Atom Smasher Extended Version. I probably should have looked at my mercenaries before I came here. What do I got? Yeah, I definitely should have looked at my mercenaries before I came here. If I had, I would not have gone to a level 1 territory. I would have gone to a territory that gave me more victory points. But alas, what's done is done. Let's say you go a here, huh? And you will go here. That means uh, that the zombies uh, will have to go all the way down to here. And then I'll... I don't know. If I had infantry, I could totally lock this up. But we'll have the this guy go here. That way these guys will hopefully run away from the zombies and cause them to convert slower. What's the random day thing? Oh, nothing. Okay, so it's a normal day. Oh, I have these. Will this be enough to lock things up? I don't know. Probably not. We can actually put one... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And artillery is the only thing that I'm going to be able to kill zombies with after the landmines blow up. But at least we'll get some nice landmine experience. But yeah, um, I tried the new setting for... Ooh, catbird. I forgot I had that also. I tried the new setting for fraps that uh, makes the video quality higher. And lo and behold, when I compressed it, it looked just as crappy as um, when I hadn't done it. Oh, what am I doing? Artillery, jeez. I'm napping is what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, now it's just back on the lower quality because it looks exactly the same when I compress it. The only way I could think of to make the... Um, great, I killed one zombie. That's just wonderful. The only way I could think to make the resolution high enough that you would actually be able to read the writing would be to, act, you know, like, change the resolution of the game. That might do it, I don't know. But if I change the resolution... That was a nice one. That makes up for the other one. If I change the resolution to something that's unsupported by my monitor, the only way to change it back is to, like, delete the file that has your game preferences, which is just a horrible design flaw. Like, you know when you change your resolution and the game... And usually there'll be a thing that pops up and says, like, if this doesn't work, uh, the game will change back and blah, blah, blah. This game does not have that, and it desperately needs it. So I'm not going to screw with that. I'm sorry. You're probably... I'll, I'll just try to read things that are important. Because the quality is bad enough that unless your monitor's... Even if your monitor's huge, probably, you probably can't read most of the stuff. I should get my cat bird, but it's too late. Um, level 1 artillery is just not enough. I'm just going to put this here. This, uh, where would be the most useful? Probably here. Actually, I should have just murdered all... Someone posted that, like, they used their catbird cannon to, um, just murder, like, as many people as they could during nighttime so they wouldn't turn into zombies. That's actually a good strategy, and I should have done it. Even though the man would, uh, really not appreciate me doing that. But you know what? The man is not a soldier. He's a leader of men. And he loves the people. But I know he would frown upon such sacrifices. I, I think the man would probably listen to reason eventually, but he wouldn't be happy about it. Especially, he wouldn't be happy that I was doing it so cavalierly either. But a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do, even if the man does not approve. Llama bombs again. You guys are just mocking me. Oh, by the way, the story. Um, the story makes sense. If you... Well, no, it doesn't make total sense. But... It makes more sense if you read all the vignettes in order. And then I can see that there's actually some semblance of a story. I'm gonna do level one. Just I gotta capture more territory. Let's do the corner. Um... Like, you can add, like... The vignettes aren't totally random like I thought they were. Like, I thought they were just, like, total random BS. And there is a story that happens, but since you unlock all the vignettes in non-chronological order, that's why it seems like it makes no sense whatsoever. As opposed to some sense, kinda, if you squint. However, um, virtually none of the stories has anything to do with zombies. So I don't know what's up with that. Let's put the helicopter here? Is that wise? Here. Sure. Why not? Because it's crazy? Too bad. And 
and uh no I'm sorry, do over. That was the incorrect button. Meant to hit four for my artillery. Uh, let's try to kill these guys quickly so I can move my infantry to back up. Okay, and infantry. Sweet! They blew me a hole. <laughs> I should be able to lock up this territory. Gotta be careful if I want to use this infantry. Use it down here. So I do not want it to hit my uh, infantry. Up, just in case. That was close. <laughs> Alright, kill that last one, we're good. Excellent. Infantry leveled up! Wunderbar! Wunderbar! Goal. In the bag. We're getting close to the... Is that the elephant bird that gets unlocked nest, I think? Probably. We're, we're, we're getting good territory points. Uh, gas maiden, probably two rounds. Longer day. Come on, give me good, give me good guys. Oh, jeez. There's the first level four. We have infantry, dynamite, and zombie bait. That's not enough. That is not enough to do crazy things. Um... All right, one more, one more level one territory. I really, I just want to capture as much territory as I can early as possible, because in the end, that'll give me the victory points to succeed. I'll we'll go here, and we'll have two rows of dynamites to try to kill as many guys as I can here. After this, I'm gonna have to start going for higher level territories. And let's put, where's the scientist? It'd be really good to capture the scientist. The scientist is over here. Excellent. There we are. All right. And we have zombie bait in order to delay people. Of course, I can only delay one group, because this group is going to keep on marching forward. Uh, yep. Oh, I should have done that and then done the zombie bait. Then I could have attracted them both to the center. But oh well. Hopefully I can just get my... Oh, d oh I have a minute. Unless someone, like... Unless I really start infecting, I should be able to kill all of these guys pretty easily. Even though I'm moving really slowly. Oh, so slowly. That one zombie, that stray zombie, is going to cause problems. I know he is. Start shooting. Come out shooting. One person infected. I have a minute left, though. I think we're okay. Damn it, that zombie's just hightailing it out of here. How many? Oh God, damn it all! Oh, he turned. He turned in a good direction, though. If he went uh, left, I would have had trouble. Screw him! I'm gonna get him with the cat bird. He's he's just leaving me. Come on, come on, yeah! I'll get the cat bird as soon as that as this uh, plane leaves. In fact, plane, leave now. Need cat bird. <laughs> I don't think I got the credit for attracting those last two. Alright, aeroplane. Leveled up. Or helicopter. Evacuation aeroplanes wouldn't be nearly as effective, what with their need for runways. Alright, we've locked it up. Hopefully I'll good a get a good uh, combination of day, statistic, and mercenaries. Oh god. Uh, 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 okay. Actually, I don't care about them getting ga- oh great. That was not a good day statistic. Though I've just unlocked level 1 territories, what'd you give me? Snipers, landmines, and barricades. Um... I don't think I'm ballsy enough to do a level 3, but let's do a level 2 and see what happens. Failure is probably what happens. Abject failure! Oh, when I had sci I could have gotten a scientist upgrade. Well, I'm putting this here, because holy crap, look at all the peoples. Um, hmm. 
here. And... Here. That's really nice, actually. That's really damn nice. Because now the only way to get to the main parts is going through here. And guess what happens when anyone goes there? They get shot in the neck. And... Land-minded in the land... Mind. Um... I was really thin these guys out and these guys out. Alright, that'll do. Hopefully. Wabam. Transported from there to here. That didn't seem like that killed a lot of zombies at all, that first landmine. Oh well. Oh, there's gonna be so many zombies. The sniper is great, but it's not good for taking out large amounts of zombies. It's okay for taking out large amounts of zombies, but... Infantry's, uh... I mean, the infantry's basically the stopgap. That's how you stop zombies from getting places that you don't want them to get. Alright, now someone... Someone was trying to explain how the, the sniping work. It's not It's not exactly which ones are closest to you, but I think he said, like, it's which ones are highest, although that's not happening either. I, I don't know. Whatever. I don't really get it. I do get that a cat bird would be great right about now. Uh, shit. Not too late. Wait! Not too late. Oh, that didn't kill it. See, sometimes, and it, I don't know why, but sometimes they don't trip off the damn landmines. And that pisses me off. Whoops. <laughs> At least they won't become zombies, though. I've rescued the requirement, and it's nighttime, so... Um, at least I'm completing the stage, but... Actually, we should we should probably get 90. That's, that's not bad. Um, aim down here. Now, if it was closest first, these ones would be destroyed first. But look, she shot down here. She didn't shoot these ones. So it's not... Wait. There's a little reticle here. Is it is it closest to this? Wait a second. Are you kidding me? Am I that stupid? Did I never notice that there's a little reticle that moves around within the field? Is that what people have been trying to tell me? I didn't know that, like, where you actually clicked mattered. And I've beaten this game, like, five times at this point. Wow. That's terrible. <laughs> Okay, well, now I know. That's what they were t Oh, okay. Was it Zimmer Squash that told me? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Well, two people told me. <laughs> and I was just confused. Gas lines have ruptured. Oh, dear. All right. I'm, I need to stop concentrating on taking over territory now, anyway. You... All right. All right. Oh god, uh, I, uh, oh god, no, chain reaction! What? That was the worst chain reaction I've ever seen. I just went from doing fine to... Good luck with the apocalypse, buddy, in a few seconds. Damn. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't even know what to say to that. I say let's upgrade artillery, that's what I say. Ugh. But at least I'll get a free, uh, free territory from this. Um, let's do it down here so this one doesn't spread. Wait, it can't spread, because it's already, it's already there. Now let's do it up here, then. That was terrible. <laughs> that was absolutely terrible, what just happened there. But if you don't remember, because I only showed it once, Elephant Bird is pretty much free, um, winning on a level 4 territory. And note the Elephant Bird... Uh, sequence last time. I also have to remember that when the elephant bird goes off, it's hard for people to hear me on the current difficulty setting, so I'm gonna yell like I have a hearing aid in and I'm confused. Now you see, level 4 territories are just like normal territories, but there's no citizens. The only way you can win is by killing all the zombies. But when you have the elephant bird, it's extremely easy to do so. Unless you accidentally blow up your elephant bird cannon, then you're screwed and you have to restart the stage. <laughs> what? Damn it! 
That's the first time I've ever failed an elephant bird stage. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Damn. It. All. That was just pathetic. Well, there's no way I can blow myself up now. One elephant bird there should blow up those three columns. Yep. Loot up the three columns. But there's virtually no way to lose unless you get that 30 second thing. Where you only have 30 seconds to win. Even then, though, with the cat bird also, you're probably fine. The cat bird, however, can actually blow up your, uh, your cannon, so be careful of that. <laughs> I cannot believe that I did that. But yeah, you don't get a lot of victory points for these stages, but you do get the territory. And you get scientists. But if you're gonna do it with regular mercenaries, make sure you're damn well prepared. Because that's the thing, once you select a stage in this game, you can't go back. I did find out there is a way to load your saves, however, so you can technically go back, but it's a hassle. And you have to have saved just before the stage to not have to go way back anyway. I, however, will not be reloading any stages. If I get stuck in a level, I'm stuck. Too bad. Slower zombie movement. Oh god, it's all going to hell. But I do have a lot of scientists, so let's get... This is always very important. Um, that I'm going to probably get next, and I just need one more scientist to do it. What do I have? Infantry, artillery, landmines. That's very good. So good, I'm going to be gutsy and do a level 3. These are always a little bit risky, because if you fail extraordinarily then the zombies are actually going to get a ton of victory points. But if you succeed, you will get a ton of victory points. So we have that. Um, let's put our infantry here. Now that I know that about snipers, they're going to be so much more useful, and they're already really useful. Put this here to get the most number of scientists. Put this out of the way so I don't blow it up by accident. And voila! And I upgraded the um, the artillery so it'll shoot, shoot uh, two shells each time instead of one. Shoot the shells! And zombies are moving slower because that was the day condition. Wow, that second shell did nothing! Which is not the type of thing that I wanted to do. Whoops! I wanted to blow up that gas bag. That column is clear. Let's move this way. Let's move to the helicopter. Ignore all else. Go to the helicopter, my son. Shoot them with your gun. Okay, elephant. No. Gas man. And, uh... Kill these guys. Just keep the zombies away from the helicopter. Whoa! Somehow that explosion was even bigger than I thought it would be. Oh god, which way are they gonna come from? Oh, uh, artillery. Eh. Artillery will protect me, maybe. Nighttime imminent. Oh! -hoo 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 -hoo. Damn werewolves. Why don't you werewolves come over here and help me with the zombies? Damns it. They have like a little explanation for each of the mercenaries too, I believe. I don't know if I've read them. But I can't show them because of the whole resolution thing. So, you want to be able to read them anyway. Catbird. Um, artillery. Here, some garbage. I don't know. Let's actually zoom out some. I press. Oh, good. Artillery, get back to the helipad. They're encroaching. We're gonna get a lot of victory points there. No, 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 no. No, 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 but not as many as I could have because I, I wasn't babysitting the helipad enough. Oh well, still. So you probably can't even read how many victory points are on the screen right now because of the crappy revolution, but I got 502 and they got almost 200. And I've unlocked nothing. I've unlocked llama bombs! 
Excellent. Now I can actually use llama bombs as part of my self uh, description or whatever. But I have to. I'd have to buy them, and I haven't really. Oh god, gigantic zombies are coming. Oh dear. Yep, Mega Zeds are here. The gigantic squares that just won't quit. And will destroy your freaking buildings. Uh, so the Zeds are almost tied with me. Shorter date time. So definitely don't want to do a clearing mission. I'm not going to attack level 4s directly with just mercenaries. Until I get the, um, can carry 4 mercenaries upgrade. It's actually kind of crazy to do it before then, if I, as far as I'm concerned. Um... I can either do this or this. Let's do Merc Training. I feel like my mercenaries haven't been leveling up as fast as I want them to. So where do I go? Half of a day. I mean, that sounds like a good level 2 uh, thing to do. I think this will be my... Is this going to be my last one this episode? I'll check to see how long it is, but I have the, I have the impression I've been going for at least 20 minutes. Um, should have been paying attention to the mercenaries that I had, because this isn't going to work. Oh, dear. This isn't going to work at all. Oh, and I have zombie bait. I mean, maybe. Maybe if I blow these buildings away first. We can try that. We'll see what happens. And artillery. I I'll be happy with just getting the 60 at this point. Don't need anything fancy. Um, kaboom! Attracting all zombies down here. Yeah, I just need two full loads. Uh, here? Are they gonna make it before the helicopter gets back? I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm thinking no, they're not gonna make... Oh wait, maybe. Maybe, as long as no one comes down here. No, you're not invited. Stay away. Um, eh. Actually, we're probably good, because uh, the, uh... I picked up 36 people. I just need... 24, I think? Ah, oh, I got it. Alright. Stage completed. <laughs> just barely, but... Um... Let's get a crap load of experience. No! Oh, I just missed out so much potential zombie bait experience. I should have been faster. Well, I finally got the artillery to level 2, however, and the artillery is amazing at even level 2. I mean, actually, it's amazing at level 3. But uh, level 2 is much more useful. And almost. I got, uh... Well, they actually got more victory points that round than I did. So that's unfortunate. I just wish I had gotten that zombie bit experience. I don't have quite as much territory I want, but ah, I got the Zeppelin unlocked, so that's cool. And they just got, um, um, okay. Well, now they're ahead by uh, almost 200 points, so I gotta play some catch up. Gotta play some catch. Oh god. Oh god. Huh. <sighs> well, it's okay. I'll get llama bombs soon. Surely. Surely I'll get Llama Bomb soon. Um, llama Bomb capacity. Let's upgrade the Llama Bomb capacity. This will give me three Llama Bombs when I get them instead of two. Um, yeah, I, I don't know about this. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm Cross Knights, signing out for now. I'll see you as I combat the Purple Horde next time.